Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. And in this tutorial, um, I'm gonna be showing you how to make UI appear to only one person. Well, to a user, like, yeah, a specified user. That's how to put it. So, to get started, let's actually make our UI. Let's also just disable our intro that we made from a previous video. Make sure to check that out. And let's just name this text inside there. Let's get a text label. And we can just put whatever you want. You could use your own UI. It doesn't have to be exactly what I'm making. So, yeah, just do whatever you want. I'm just gonna put whatever I want. And something that you should do. You should really subscribe. It really help me out. <laughs> Scale that up. That doesn't look too good. There we go. That looks better. Okay. Well, now that we got that, we can just put it in replicated storage. We're not going to touch that over again. Anyways, we can also, now that we're not going to touch any more UI, let's just turn off UI visibility. Okay. Now that we've done that, get our part. All right. Anchor it, of course. Change color to, let's say, Pastel bluish greenish. Okay. Then decently sized. Put in your spawn. And now you can just call it just to be more organized. UI opener. Now we can insert a script into it. Let me do script.parent.touched connect function. And then we do part. So what this does is just saying when this is touched by anything, like it could be your foot, then it would play whatever is in this, and like whatever lines of code there are in these. All right. And then the part is just saying what had touched the, the part. It's like, let's say we got a sphere, and then name is like, Fear. If it touches the part, it, that is what the part would be. And if we print it out, it'd be called sphere. You just say sphere and the output. Okay, so now that we got that, we could do. Um, let's clone our text. So we could just do local text clone equals game dot replicate storage clone. Oh, yeah, not clone replicate storage. Archive storage dot text and then we clone that. Okay, now that we got that done, we can also get our username. And actually, let's put that before a text clone, just so we are a bit more organized. So we can get our username from doing part dot parent dot name, since our wait, equals part dot parent dot name. And how that and how I got to this is because the part is going to be one of our body parts. The parent of the body part in Roblox is always going to be the model. So that would just be our character model. Let me just get the name of it. I don't think that is really necessary, but I like to be organized with my code. So let's just put that there. <laughs> and now, for a text clone, let's set the parent of this to be game.players. Not parent. Game.players. Not dot game dot players username dot player g g y. So what this does is just setting the parent. Well, I'd say y'all should know this, but yeah, it sets the parent of text clone to be inside of game. That's this thing, and then it so it first clones this, right? It goes into game, then it goes into players. And then it searches for the user name, which is going to be somewhere there because it all, since in the players, it has a list of all the players that are in the game currently. Well, in that server currently in the game. So now that we got that, and then it goes into that directory of your player. Then so after that, there's a player GUI directory, which is just a GUI for yourself. Well, for the player and no one else. So it's not going to be going into 
regular starter GUI or anything like that. I'm just going to go into the player's GUI. Now, it should be working. I hope that explanation made sense. So, let's play. Let's see, does it work? It does work. Wonderful. Anyways, we can also have like a task that wait. And let's just have it disappear after two seconds. And just destroy it. Perfect. Now it should disappear after like two seconds. And one, two, disappear. Wonderful. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I really hope you learned something new and good luck in your game. And also, I forgot to mention that as long as you get the username of the player, you can access the yeah, you can ask this the per GUI as, as long as you get the username. So it could be, yeah, you could do whatever you want. And then just, I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, just get the username, and then you can do this. And pop up the UI. Yeah, just thanks so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. <laughs> Smash the like button. And turn on notifications. And I hope to see you all later. Thank you for watching, good luck on your game.